Hello everyone, this is Michelle with Michelle Crochets in Kansas. How are you all doing today? Today I'm going to be reading the devotional from the devotional book Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Today is May 11. This is hard. Thank me for your problems. As soon as your mind gets snagged on a difficulty, bring it to me with thanksgiving. Then ask me to show you my way to handle the situation. The very act of thanking me releases your mind from its negative focus. As you turn your attention to me, the problem fades in significance and loses its power to trip you up. Together we can deal with the situation, either facing it head on or putting it aside for later consideration. Most of the situations that entangle your mind are not today's concerns. You have borrowed them from tomorrow. In this case, I lift the problem out of today and deposit it in the future where it is veiled from your eyes. In its place, I give you my peace, which flows freely from my presence. That is awesome. Here are the verses. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. That is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. That is Psalm chapter 25, verses 4 and 5. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. That is John chapter 14, verse 27. I thank you, Heavenly Father, for your words. They are comfort for us, Heavenly Father. When I can take whatever is bothering me and stressing me out and give it to you, and you just take it away and move it to wherever for a later date, you put it back into the future, where it belongs, that is amazing, Heavenly Father. That is such wonderful thing that I can seek your face and thank you for the problems and you will deal with them. They are no longer my problems to solve, but yours. I thank you for that, Heavenly Father. Thank you for providing ease for us, Heavenly Father, if we seek your face in everything. I thank you, Lord, for your word. I thank you for these devotionals. I thank you for everyone who is watching my these devotionals and prayer time and praise along with me. I thank you, Heavenly Father. I have many prayers to lift up to you, Lord, and I ask you, Heavenly Father, to be with each of us as we pray together. Heavenly Father, I thank you that Susan is home, Heavenly Father. I ask you to help her and her husband to figure things out to find what 
the help they need, Heavenly Father, and help Susan to get stronger each and every day, Lord. Help her legs get stronger, Heavenly Father, so she can do more around the house to help. I ask it in Jesus' name. I lift up tofu to you, Heavenly Father. I thank you. I praise you for where you've put placed her right now. I pray that she can be safe and feel safe there. I praise you that she has been able to visit with her dad, her grandmother, and her sister, Heavenly Father. And I ask you to continue to strengthen her physically, mentally, spiritually, and emotionally. Heal those wounds, Lord, that she has sustained throughout this life. I know we've all had wounds. We've all been dealt rough times. Be with her, Lord. Be with Nisi and her husband, Heavenly Father. I pray that her husband finds work in town so he doesn't have to be gone from his family for such long periods of time. I lift up Racine and Tom to you, Heavenly Father. I thank you for the spiritual growth in Zach. I pray for the continued spiritual growth in Zach. I pray you use him in a mighty way even right where he's at right now. I ask you, Lord, to help that new grandson born to Abby become a mighty man of God. And I pray that Abby turns her heart towards you and renews her relationship with you and restores her relationship with her mother in Jesus' name. I lift up all who have health issues there is me, Dan, Kathy, Shireen, Tina, Susan, Tofu, Keith, Sadie, Mumsy, Casey, Vicky, and the list can go on, Heavenly Father. I pray for all those who have drug issues or problems with uh, drugs and alcohol addiction, Heavenly Father. I pray that you bring them home to their loved ones. Heavenly Father, help them get the help they need to leave that lifestyle of addiction and uh, return to their families, to the ones who love them. In Jesus' name, I lift up Revanth to you, Heavenly Father. I praise you for the light uh, that Revanth and his family provide in India, and I pray you continue to bless them, Heavenly Father. Pour out your spirit upon them. Help them to prosper. Help them to be a light that shines in the dark world in India. Heavenly Father, I ask it in Jesus' name. I pray for all who are fighting colds, flu, and COVID. Heavenly Father, I ask you to touch each and every body that is dealing with health issues right now and heal them, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray for all who have lost their way in disbelief that they reconnect with you, Lord. I am thinking of Abby, uh, Cynthia, and Megan. Megan and Cynthia are Nisi's daughters, and Abby is Racine's daughter. I lift them up to you, Heavenly Father. May they turn their hearts towards Jesus. I ask it in Jesus' name. I pray for all who are struggling with cancer, Heavenly Father. There's Thris, Carol Treister, Diana Stark, my friend Doris, Asia Joe's friend, P PJ's friend Janet, a teacher's daughter has leukemia, James Cantonese, Tina's father-in-law Chuck, Kim's husband Kevin, 
Larry's mother, Tommy, and there are more. My friend uh, Sylvia has had cancer too. I'm not sure if it's in remission right now, but she's had ish, uh, problems with that. I lift her up to you, Heavenly Father. I pray for all people who have been hurt by people's careless and hurtful words and actions. May they feel God's love and know that they are wonderful for being different and strong. I lift up Connie and the biscuit to you, Heavenly Father. They have medical issues. Um, while we're at it with another podcast or YouTuber, IVB Creates is in the hospital. Um, she is dealing with um, a lot of sickness. I lift her up to you, Heavenly Father. Ease her, heal her, Lord. Touch her body, heal her in Jesus' name. I pray for the uh, unspoken prayer requests of Jennifer with Froggy When and Knitting, Mumsy, and Racine and Tom also had an unspoken prayer request. I lift up everyone who's dealing with uh, chronic pain, fibromyalgia, depression, trouble sleeping. Sadie, Tina, M, Nisi, Kathy, David, Lynette, Mary Jones, and Doretha. I pray for everyone who's lost loved ones recently, Heavenly Father. Jack's and her family. Jax has lost a newborn grandson uh, recently. And my friend Andrea has lost two cousins and an uncle. And she asked me also to pray for her Aunt Nikki, Uncle Teddy, and Aunt Cheryl, who have lost sons and uh, Aunt Cheryl lost her husband too. So I lift them all up to you, Heavenly Father. I pray for all of the families and friends of the prayer warriors in this devotional and prayer time. I pray, Lord, that you touch every heart and may they all come to a saving knowledge of your Son, Jesus Christ. I lift up uh, Mama Susu for emotional healing Heavenly Father, I ask you to touch Sadie's grandson, Daniel, who has uh, neurofibromatosis. His body makes cysts internally inside his body. I lift up Dezola Designs and her husband to you. I pray that her husband gets unemployment benefits and that they can uh, manage to live on a, learn to live on a smaller income. I pray for Sue's friend, Allie, whose husband has gone deaf and they are running tests to see what it is. I pray for all who are in the hospital going for surgery or recovering from surgery, Lord. My friend Rita is going in to talk to a surgeon for her back in June. I pray, lift her up to you, Lord. Help her. And uh, Sanja also just recently had surgery. Ivy's in the hospital, Lord. Uh, my friend Julie her sister's been in ICU for three weeks. So I lift her also up to you. I pray for Cricket, Heavenly Father, who's in Florida with her sister and brother-in-law. Uh, they're not doing well and uh, they're being over-medicated. 
So I lift them up to you, Heavenly Father, so that they can adjust their medications or get rid of some so they're not uh, in a zombie-like condition. I lift up Brian to you, Heavenly Father, who's been diagnosed with mild schizophrenia. Please be with him and be with all who have mental disorders. I ask it in Jesus' name. I pray for Susan's friend, Jeannie, who's having emotional pain right now with the fact that her husband committed suicide last year. I lift her up to you, Heavenly Father. I pray for Suzanne and Ron of God Crochet and Chatter. I ask you to keep them healthy and strong, Heavenly Father, so that we can continue our study of Revelation verse by verse. I pray for all our children, Heavenly Father, Timmy's children, Lance and Jessica, and my children, Jennifer and Stephen and Joseph and Libby. I ask you to be with all of them, bless them, uh, above all, may you be the Lord of their lives, Heavenly Father. I ask it in Jesus' name. I pray for Zoila and all caregivers to their aging parents. I lift them up to you. Please strengthen them, undergird them, Lord. It's not easy taking care of an adult who's, uh, Becoming a kid again, Alzheimer's. I just lift them up to you, Lord. Doris Hartman's husband is battling the enemy. Heavenly Father, please, I lift him up to you. Uh, <clears throat> a great verse or a great saying that I've learned in Battlefield of the Mind. The best way to shut the enemy up is to speak the word of God. I am going to be saying that and repeating that every day during the prayers because it is so powerful. I pray for Martin, Heavenly Father, who is Iris's son-in-law. I pray that you... Um, Heal his body, Lord, and heal his mental state so that he can go home and be the husband and the father that he needs to be in Jesus' name. And I lift up especially Ivy to you, Heavenly Father. She needs lots of prayers, uh, Crohn's and diverticulitis. Um, Please help her, Lord, touch her body, heal her, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for everyone who's been praying along with me. If you have prayer, additional prayer requests or you want to add something, please uh, write it in the comment section down below. Or you can email it to me, and my email address is in the description box below this video. I thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to reading all your comments and emails. I thank you. Have a great day, everyone, and we will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.